Colin stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hundreds of rabbits have decided to call his Hastings property, just outside Melbourne, home. But Colin says council won't help, so he contacted us. Life's not bad when you're a bunny rabbit. Munching on grass from dawn to dusk, hopping about, calling Colin Fitch's property home. One, two, three, four, five. When the trees are dropping fruit, it's a party for them. But things are getting a bit hairy for these fluff balls because, well, Colin can't see the cute side. They're burrowing down the back, burrowing along the side, burrowing over here. These rabbits have a predator in the form of a pensioner and he will stop at nothing to get rid of them. You see all the footprints around there? Fighting tooth and tail to protect his once pristine property and don't even start Colin on his fruit trees. There's your trees there, Lexi. See the yeah. digging around that one? And what? And these trees over no, here? No, they haven't got to those yet. This orange tree here, I've had to prune the bottom of it because the rabbits have absolutely wrecked it. Oh, so the rabbits were coming at it from... This is where the rabbits have got to it. Look at the, all these. They just stand on their back legs and go into here. This must oh, drive you bonkers. Like, they're these beautiful fruit trees. That's an they're... orange tree and the flavour of that's absolutely beautiful. The juice. Well, the rabbits obviously like them. Well... <laughs> the damage goes on and on. Kind of like Colin. Anyhow... So they're just treating your garden as a free-for-all, basically? Well, it's a fruit salad. Behind here is where the problem starts, because it has never looked, been looked after. OK, this is the area that the rabbits live in directly behind us. They can then come through here and take over my property. The hard part is Colin doesn't know who owns the land, where the rabbits are coming from. A bloody plague of rabbits are taking over my property and the damage. So it is a rabbit plague? There is a rabbit plague. So this is from a letter from the council to the landowner. And what have they said about the law here? Landowners are legally required to control pests on their land. Well, if the government of the day makes the law, the government of the day has to enforce the bloody rule. If they don't, it's no good telling me what I've got to do, and I should be doing this, and I should be doing that, and I should be doing it. My bloody block of land, keep your rotten rabbits off them. Colin tells us the Department of Agriculture advised he erect a rabbit-proof fence on all sides of his property. And the Agriculture Minister's advice, he claims, wasn't much help either. Me, former committee, how's that going to stop rabbits coming on my property? Why am I out of pocket $6,000 in damages plus probably $20,000 to put a rabbit-proof fence in my and property? What has the owner of the land where the rabbits are coming from done? Nothing. So the Exploded. rabbits literally destroyed your water tanks? Yes. yes. It just breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart to think that you work hard, you finish everything you want to do, then at my age, I've got to restart all again. Well, your age, you shouldn't be building new water tanks. You should be sitting out in those fruit trees. Sucking on a pina colada or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you like pina coladas? No, I've Me never too. tasted one. Oh, <laughs> I've never thanks. tasted one. <laughs> if nothing's done here with these rabbits, do you think it'll get worse? Well, have you heard the expression, they breed like rabbits? One female rabbit per year produces 180 kittens. In result is thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Now we know where the expression comes from, Colin. Well, it's pretty simple, isn't it? They breed like rabbits. Colin has a folder full of correspondence dating back to October last year documenting this rabbit row. Letters and emails with the local MP, the Agriculture Minister, and the local council. And despite numerous requests for someone to come and visit his property, Colin claims not one staff member from the council has made the effort to meet him and see the problem for themselves. Honestly, when I get to it, there you are, there's more here. Yeah. Look at this. This is a brick. Look over here. Poor Colin. Council sent Colin's neighbour a letter. Oh, that's a big effort, isn't it? Explaining their responsibilities as well as a copy of their rabbit control handbook.